Hey y'all, it's me. Um, whew, I'm finally home from my journeys. Um, I went to see Carlene Pink Scrapper 99 here on YouTube um, in her hometown of Idaho. And uh, got back Tuesday night and had to leave Wednesday morning up to my mom's. Spent a few days there and now I'm finally home and I came home to a mess. And I mean, I, don't, I took pictures, I'm not sure if I'll post them, but just so you could see what I had to deal with when I came home. Anyway, I have a lot, a lot, a lot to show you everything that I got when I was in Idaho with Carlene, so I'm just going to get going. I have no idea. I'll try to remember what store stuff came from, but it kind of all just got thrown in a box together, and I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, these are floral pins I got from Carlene. Um, these are actually longer than a normal size floral pin, so I like those. I picked these up, I believe, from Michael's. They were a dollar, I think, because they were on clearance. And let's see, I think these came, these beads here, they're glass, and they came from um, Carlene's Dollar Store, so I picked those up. Um, these are like teardrop pearls with little loops on them and these came from Hobby Lobby and they were on clearance so they picked up the last two they had. I found a little robot charm for my grandson. Um, I got some of those um, findings you make uh, charms from. Uh, I got these little tubes of beads at Carlene's dollar store. I found some little hardware that I'm going to use for some swap I'm doing coming up soon um, at Hobby Lobby, so I got those. Uh, I don't even know where to get be going. Big boom. <laughs> I got so much I don't know where to begin. Uh, I got this trim at Hobby Lobby. All their trims are 50% off the day we went. This one too is so pretty. It's velvet down the middle with ruffle. Uh, this one here is like a beaded little tiny bead trim very pretty and then this one here is so beautiful I don't know if I'll have time to yank it out let's see there you go this is like a flower trim that we found at Hobby Lobby so beautiful so anyway I picked those up there um, we went to secondhand stores and I found these little I guess they could be ornaments but they're just tchotchkes and I like shabby chic Style, so I thought these are kind of cute to use as a display on something. Picked those up. They were super cheap. Uh, these little Kelly Pinacci chipboard Christmas shapes we found at Carlene's Dollar Store. These flowers were 49 cents from Michael's. I don't know where I got these from. I think Carlene's Dollar Store. They're crystal stickers. Um, I picked up some Recollections bling. I think they were on sale and we went ahead and picked all what we wanted up. Uh, these are like for Thanksgiving and they were a buck at Joann's I think. Uh, we went to one of Carlene's scrapbook stores and I got another one of these. I picked up one at Expo but it was pink and this one's green and they're just gorgeous. You guys have to look for them. They're by My Mind's Eye and it's called Hip and Luxurious really cute chipboard book. The design carries over to the back too. Pick that up. Um, Tuesday morning I found some black safety pins which I've never seen before so I got those. Some Maya Road tickets I believe I got these at Archivers. Um, I got the Christmas combo stack uh, just solid colors from Joann's as well as the autumn one because they were on, this one was on clearance so I got those this Melody Ross paper collection homespun I got it at Hobby Lobby and I fell in love with it so I had to grab it and it was like I think the last one there uh, at Carlene's scrapbook store I you know you remember the name of it I found this by um, Crafty Secrets and it's 12 by 12 by 6 cardstock pieces and they're double sided and oh my gosh it is so pretty. I love this. They had another one and I now I'm wishing I had gotten it but anyway I got this one. It's called Pastel 
Heartwarming Vintage Collection, I guess is the name of it. From Carlene, I got the Kaisercraft Le Chateau stack, um, little 6x6. Six six. I She may or may not have some of these left. I have no idea. Uh, Hobby Lobby, I got some bamboo paint brushes that I've been wanting. Uh, Tuesday morning, this is Best Collection um, Shimmers. Um, it's Shimmers cardstock. It's kind of shiny, like pearly looking. Went ahead and picked that up for $2.99. Uh, from Carlene, I got, I bought the Welcome Home, can you see all that? It's the Welcome Home Teresa Collins album kit. And it, um, she gave me the chipboards too and the stamps that go with it. And one of these two that's actually separate. I don't think it's part of this Welcome Home collection. But um, this comes with everything you need, instructions and all to make that mini. And then I also got from her the Travel Ledger Teresa Collins Journal Kit, which I wish I could show you. Whoops, I'm sl flinging. It's really cute. Can you see that right there? That's what it's going to look like. Very cool looking. Um, I got way too much to go. I don't think I'm going to make it in 15 minutes. Um, I picked up this stack from Hobby Lobby um, Laundry Line, My Mind's Eye. Very beautiful. It's glittery and vintage -y and I love it. I just love it. So I picked that up. I'm running out of table space. Um, I picked up some just few loose sheets. This is Best Creations. They make really nice glitter paper. And then just a few others that I saw when I was at Hobby Lobby. I picked up at Tuesday morning um, this Party in a Pad Cane Company. It's for Thanksgiving. It comes with everything you need for de table decorations, little party favors, place cards, napkin rings, blah, 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 all that stuff. It was $3.99, so since I don't have time to make anything for holiday, for Thanksgiving, which is in two weeks, I thought I'd use that. Um, I picked this up at Michael's, I believe, um, Winterville Winter, by my Mind's Eye Paper Collection. It's, oops, sorry, I have a scrap in there. Um, it's, their, it's a Christmas collection, but... I guess you could use some of it for winter stuff or not necessarily Christmas. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I love this stack. I I didn't want to buy paper, but look what I went and did. Shame on me. <laughs> anyway, so that's the paper. Um, let's see. I picked these little Christmas tree thingies up at Carlene's Dollar Store. Uh, picked up some pom-poms for I don't know where. It's somewhere. I don't know. Um, this is some trim I got Hobby Lobby. Uh, there's some pink beads and some green there. Beautiful. Love this. Pick those up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, let's see. I got some. She took me to this other craft store in her neighborhood, and they have everything in that store. It's like a little bit of everything. Um, I picked up these three trims there, and... This one here, which is a, a rose print. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, hold on, I got more from there. I got um, a little wooden hanger. I got these little knob wooden thingies. I got two miniature rulers to alter. A piece of tin I'm going to do something with. I'll show you eventually. Christmas tree cutout. A metal box that I can alter. I found this fabric at Hobby Lobby and I grabbed a piece of it that I liked. Um, I found this at a dollar store. It says welcome and it has cork. I'm going to alter it. So I've got that. Um, I found these at the dollar store. They have um, their little parts with flowers and whatever. I thought I'll figure out something for those. I got a blending tool. I got, oh, I got these little wooden sewing thread bobbins or whatever you call them. Um, we went to her dollar store and I got these little shoes in two colors. They're so cute. They're so pretty. I picked those up. And a butterfly. I think that came from Michael's. And the butterfly from Michael's. And then we went to some craft fair and I picked up a couple of ornaments more for the idea than anything. But they're so cute. Pinecone and snowman and this is made from ribbon so it's pretty cute. Um, I got a few more of those glittery things but they make a mess so I won't show you. 
you know that I had to get stamps because I just not cannot go somewhere without stamps. So I picked up this set. It was on sale at Joann's. I picked up this one at that hobby store she took me to. It was $2.99 Kaiser Craft. These are tag stamps. I picked up this laundry laundry line. I don't know where I got that from. Um, this one is a Fisker stamp I got at Joann's. Another Fisker stamp from Joann's. It's a little choo-choo train. That goes with a new rolly thing they have. Um, I got this at her scrapbook store. It's a Prima postcard stamp with some bling. Um, this is an itty bitty stamp I got. It's from Unity, I think, and they were um, at Archivers, so you could see that it's a little lamp there. It's so cute. Got that. Um, picked this up at Michael's for Valentine's. Um, they had their stamps on clearance the day Carlin and I went. Uh, I got this at Tuesday morning. It's uh, Talking in Circles Boy um, by Autumn Leaves. Uh, they had some new dollar stamps. They're more like background border stamps or something. I hope you guys can see this because I don't want to do this again. Here's another one. These were dollar. They're like background border stamps. Um, this is a dollar stamp from Michaels. Michaels. Hello. Um, this one, Life's Beautiful. This one says, You Are Fabulous. Uh, this one says, Family. That says, Dear Santa, Gingerbread People, Love You. That's what I say to my grandson all the time. And Everything Happens for a Reason. I love that stamp. I'm truly a believer of that. Um, and then I found these these, I don't know, I guess it's an ornament, but I got it at Tuesday mornings, and I really like these little doodads here for to hang off minis, so that's what I got those for. Let me see what time I have left. I may have to stop now. I think I got like two minutes. Um, I picked up, I raided Idaho. I raided Idaho. I bought all that I could find <laughs> of those tab books because this is my favorite book I love to alter these and I have a lot of things to make so yeah that's what I did I raided all of Idaho to get those uh, picked up some fibers I think they came from Big Lots so this one has dingle balls on it or something and this one's like shiny fibery it was at the Goodwill for 99 cents so I got that and I think I have to stop because I got more stuff and I'm going to run out of time here. So I guess I have to do a part two. Um, it won't be very much, I don't think, on the other one, though. So I'll be back in a little bit. Bye.